I don't want it to be like just because I'm switching to healthy now it's gonna be torturous. I'm Dashran Johan. I am a producer and presenter at BFM. I'm in the bigger picture team. We do a lot of long form content, so it requires a lot of research and all. That usually takes the bulk of the time. So at times it can get really hectic. But last year, my God, when the pandemic hit, everything else went out the drain. Work-life balance is not there. Eating healthy, definitely not. I used to eat at random hours, even if it's like McDonald's a few times a week and things like that. It's just, you know, I, I didn't think too much about it. For me, it's important to not sacrifice the joy you get from eating. I can never do the, the whole hardcore broccoli, chicken breast only, brown rice kind of thing. So I don't want it to be like, just because I'm switching to healthy, now it's going to be torturous. I worry about critical illnesses more now compared to say 10 years ago. Even right now, I'm 28, you can feel the how you know unfit you are. It's about forcing yourself to get back on track until that becomes your normal once again. I guess that's where you know I'm crawling, but the consistency is not there yet. So 2021, I'm really, really hoping this is the year I'm going to start eating healthy again. So fingers crossed. At BFM, we believe that a healthier self is easily achievable and we just need to take the right steps to get started. That's why we've teamed up with Pulse by Prudential in our mission for a healthier Malaysia. Today, our journey to better health starts with tweaking the way we eat. And who better to speak to than Annabelle of La Juiceria? Hey, Hi, nice to, to meet you. I'm there. Nice to see you. Come, come. How did you manage to find the motivation? You see, I'm like 28. I have no wife, no kids, nothing, right? And it still feels like my day can get really exhausting. So how do you find the motivation to being more conscious about what we put in our body. For myself, when I had my daughter, my, my first child, that's when the, the on switch turned on. Your time is limited, you are now a mother, you have to make a choice and you want to live long. So these are the triggers in life. Health is forever. Health is rich or poor, young or old. This will become a concern. Malaysia has stayed as the highest diabetic rate in Southeast Asia. One in every five has diabetes. That's really bad. That's really scary. But you know, to really get into it, the taste is always the biggest barrier. Because I'm so curious, how do you make good food but a healthy version of it? Like, how do you keep the taste and the flavour? As we keep evolving, there will be new technologies and new ingredients. Eight years ago, quinoa was expensive. It was so expensive that I couldn't sell it to you because it would be blowing your budget for a weekly meal. And because the prices have come down, the demand has gone up, this makes healthy eating more possible. We all love fried rice. So we made a very healthy version of it called quinoa fried rice. Quinoa has a lower glycemic index, which means it doesn't spike up your sugar. Second is that it's a very healthy grain. So we made it into fried rice. Inside is all veggie. And of course, there's chili. You know, for Malaysians, you got to have chili inside. So it tastes like your fried rice without the rice and top it off with teriyaki tofu. But no way, you're telling me quinoa can taste as good as nasi goreng. Yes, How? yes, nasi goreng. I don't believe yes. you. Well, you, you're <laughs> gonna find out. You're gonna find out very soon. Oh, I'm very, very excited. She promised me it's going to taste like as good as regular nasi goreng. So I'm still not convinced, but I'm excited. Thank you. So, time to dig in. Oh, this is pretty good. Oh, this is really good, actually. Hmm, surprising, but nice. It's my first time eating quinoa. It's a texture I'm not used to. But taste-wise, it's good. It's good, like you, it's something you can easily trick your mind. You know, like, yeah, I'm eating fried rice, and you know, it's not fried rice, but you're making the conscious effort to eat healthy, and it tastes good, so. It really makes a difference. You are what you eat. 
when you switch to healthier food, even small changes that you make, you will naturally, like day by day, you'll start noticing your body transform. Then your energy levels go up, you feel more refreshed, you feel more energized. I would say it's a good start. It helps me keep on track and it's an added motivation for me, you know, to from crawling to start walking, then hopefully start running. It's easy to get sidetracked by the food you consume daily due to our hectic lifestyles and the fact that unhealthy food is just a call away. So it's important to keep track of your own diet if you want to live a healthier life. Now, one of the other ways that has helped me to do this is with the Pulse by Prudential app. Through the Pulse app, you can eat healthy every day by tracking your caloric intake in a fun way, create personalized meal plans and meet your dietary goals, and even consult a personal dietitian who's just one video call away. Also, if this video resonated with you, you can join us on our pledge for a healthier Malaysia and start your healthier food journey with us today. And as a reward for starting your journey today, you can get a 50% discount upon signing up as a member of La Juseria membership when you pledge with us. And what's more for your health and wellness needs, get a 10 ringgit Shopee voucher from Pulse by Prudential for any purchase at Watson's official store at Shopee. Download the Pulse by Prudential mobile app for free from the Apple App Store or Google Play Store.